Hi guys. I just watched uh, the uh, propaganda video uh, from the Islamic uh, State uh, with uh, John Cantley uh, that he basically was forced to do a whole propaganda video series and um, it, watching this series made me uh, uh, was very interesting <laughs> it was very interesting uh, uh, I real made me re it, it it made me realize a few things that I want to sh share with you. You know, for a long time, I couldn't understand um, uh, the yeah, well, the propaganda of the Islamic State, and this is all part of their propaganda. But normally, I'm I'm used to propaganda that um, makes the enemy look bad. But that's not really what they're doing, and I think they're aware of that. Uh, you know, when they were executing journalists, and they're videotaping it, and sending it to the West, so that it gets sent all over the Western media, oh, Islamic State is executing innocent journalists, in innocent reporters, that don't have anything to do with uh, the war, and they, they get executed just for being there. No reason at all, and 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 they film it, and and then you know, uh, it it goes all over the media, and uh, uh, Western societies get outraged, and uh, and then the U.S. is forced to do something about it. They can't just ignore it, you know, and then they say, okay, yeah, we at least we're gonna send fighter jets or whatever, <laughs> uh, and. You know, when I hear that, I, I I thought, why why are they doing that? Why are they filming those executions and sending it to the West, well knowing that this is what would happen? That then uh, uh, the West would uh, 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 the uh, the that it would create a public outcry in the West, forcing Western countries to get involved uh, in in the. Uh, in, in the war with uh, the, the Islamic State. So why is the Islamic State doing that? I, I couldn't understand it. Um, watching uh, this uh, propaganda series by the Islamic State uh, uh, with uh, uh, John Cantley uh, uh, finally made me realize how they think. They don't, they don't care about the war, actually. At least not those in power. It's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, the war to them is just a means. You know, maybe there are some Islamic fanatics that are like, yeah, we have to conquer the whole world and kill all the infidels, infidels and, uh, 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 you know, that are like that. Some, you know, just some fanatics beyond any reason. That I'm, I'm sure there are some people like that. Many of the Islamic State fighters are like that. But I don't think their leaders are like that. Uh, that's why they're using those kinds of tactics. Because uh, from a tactical point of view, this is just stupid. You know, uh, because they know very well that making such videos and killing journalists will... Uh, force the West to respond. So this is uh, this is stupid. It, it it makes the war harder for them. But that is not what the, their leaders, the Islamic State leaders, care about. They don't care about the war itself. They don't. I'm, I think they don't even care about territory. For them, the war is just a means to gain power. You know, it's um. These guys, they thrive on hate. They want the Western world to hate uh, the Islamic world, and they want the Islamic world to hate the Western world. As long as that is the case, they will stay in power. Why? Because then, uh, if 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 the West hates the Islamic world, uh, and and if the Islamic world hates the West, they will fight with each other. And more fighting just increases that hate. And as long as there is that hate, there will be those fanatics that will fight uh, for the Islamic State and die for the Islamic State. And as long as 
those people exist, the leaders of the Islamic State will stay in power. And that is what they care about. They want to stay in power. They want their people to follow them. That is what they care about. So they heat up that wall with the, all their propaganda is aimed at, uh, you know, increasing that hate in, and increasing the conflict so that it might make it harder for them to actually win the war. But that is not what their leaders care about. They know they're never going to defeat America or whatever. That is not what they want. They just want to stay in power. It's the same like what North Korea is doing. You know, when you, maybe you've seen those, North, those propaganda videos that North Korea did where they like poorly photoshopped like a, an uh, attack with an atomic bomb on Washington, D.C. They don't really want to attack Washington, D.C., they they know that they could they, they they know that they wouldn't stand a chance against the US or basically they would have to attack the entire Western world. North Korea doesn't stand a chance against the entire Western world. And neither does the Islamic State. You know they just want the Western world to think that they would be capable of doing that. And they want the Western world to hate them. So, because as long as the Western world hates them and as long as there is conflict, their people will also hate the Western world as long as the war is going on. And as long as that is the case, their people will hate the Western world and will support their leaders who they think are fighting the Western world. In reality, they plant this whole thing out just to, um, you know, to, to, to stay in power. And, of course, um, it's very sad because in a war like that, many people die. They don't care about how many people die. The war and the deaths uh, during that war, it just, uh, they, 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 they use that merely as a means for them to stay in power. So such people are actually very selfish. But there is a, a very easy way <laughs> um, to uh, strip them of all their power. And it's very simple. Stop hating them. Stop uh, hating. It, 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 it doesn't help. Even with really bad people. Even with terrorists. Uh, you shouldn't hate them. Uh, <laughs> this is something my wife can understand because I, I just had a discussion with her and she said, yeah, well, she hates uh, Nazis. Well, I said, I don't hate Nazis. I don't, I don't think National Socialism is a good thing. It, I don't think it's a good thing. I think it's a very bad thing, but I don't hate them because if I were to hate them, that is exactly what they want. They thrive on hate. Don't give them that support. Don't give them your hate. Because that supports them. Don't do that. If everybody could do that, Islamic State would collapse by itself. Because they need hate to survive. And all the other terrorist organizations would collapse too. There would be no National Socialist, there would be no, no North Korea, there would be no Communist Party. All these organizations need hate. Don't give it to them. Oh, and by the way, uh, you know, uh, the students in Hong Kong have been doing a very good job at that. You know, they know that. So they've been very peaceful. They've been opposing the Communist Party, but they've been doing their best to do it in an extremely peaceful manner because they know, uh, uh, they know, they know that principle. You know, they, uh, <laughs> they occupy Hong Kong with uh, love and peace. <laughs> uh, and it's been very effective because, uh, uh, yeah, this is more effective. This is like, you know, Gandhi or something. This is much more effective than than, than guns or, and violence. You know, that, uh, uh, you know, G Gandhi has been able to uh, uh, basically uh, free India uh, in a very peaceful manner. Um, 
if he would have used guns, he would never have gotten as far as he did with his peaceful tactics. 